Hello and welcome to Weekend Wisdom. Today, we're gonna discuss Jim Cramer offering advice on how to get rich slowly. Now, I'm gonna go over his numbers and show you, guess what? He is wrong, he's wrong, he's wrong, he's wrong, and the numbers just don't add up. Stay tuned, we'll discuss this and much more. Hello, this is Michael Loftus for Wealth and Wisdom TV, where education is the key to a successful financial future. First up, don't forget, click show more for additional information and links on today's video. Also, if you find this video of value and are looking for a different opinion, that of Wall Street and Big TV, please do consider subscribing. So Jim Cramer, straightforward, pretty calm guy, right? He has no idea. Kramer. I have talked to the heads of almost every single one of these firms in the last 72 hours, and he has no idea what it's like out there. None! And Bill Poole? Well, that was a classic moment. We all know he gets a little emotional sometimes hitting all those buttons. Well, the other night, I got just as emotional. I was screaming at my radio coming back from Pennsylvania seeing clients. People driving by probably thought I was crazy. What could get me this riled up? Jim Cramer, of course. He was talking about, and here's a link to the article and also an image, talking about long-term and making a certain percentage over time. Now, first off, here's the article. Guess what's missing? The video. Why? Because it was misleading. So, I did some digging here and I was able to find a video, so take a quick listen. If you go all the way back to 1928, that's right, before the great stock market crash that preceded the Great Depression, through the end of 2014, the average annual return for the S&P 500, including dividends, is about 10%. So wait, that's it? That's what has you riled up? He's saying 1928 to 2014, you average 10% a year. So if you're gonna retire, you start saving today, then you're gonna have, in his case, 10,000, you're gonna have 450, it's actually $452,000, right? When you come time to retire. But he's wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. The numbers don't add up. How do I know? Well, here's a look here of a spreadsheet I have, and I go through, I've got the S&P raw data, S&P dividends included, each year, returns, etc. So when you see this, what is he talking about? He's talking about a certain way, arithmetic return, average. What? Which is every year divided by, in this case, 90 is what I did, because I had the data through 2017. And it says, even better, you average 11.53%. So if that's the case, Let's take 1928. We started with 17.76 times 90 years at 11.53% interest. You have, drum roll please, it is 94,359. Wow. But wait, what was the S&P at yesterday's close? August 1, 2825. They're a little bit off. Now, why is that? Because we don't average 10% every year. That is the obvious. We don't average that number. And when you can look at this, okay, over time, now I'm gonna go back and I, obviously I've done the numbers, 2000 to 2000, let's say 14, when we were flat, 2.99% a year. Well, through last year, 2017, it had a good market, 5%, but still half a percent less than what he's saying. Now, the issue is what? These losses. You have to factor in these losses. It doesn't work. Because one of his quotes is, this logic can be applied to those in different age group. Here's the problem. In retirement, and our clients are either preparing for retirement or in retirement. 
One, they don't have 40 years, okay? 20 to 25 is normal. So in that time frame, if you look at these downturns, that makes a huge impact. So if you're looking at 10% as your return, you're gonna get in trouble, all right? So my conclusion here, don't get caught up with talking heads on TV, YouTube's different, okay? Ask about those numbers. When you have a financial plan done, be realistic. We use 4% in our financial plans. That to me is a realistic number. It was actually higher than the 14 year average from 2014, but I do think that is a more realistic number in retirement. So again, if you're looking for a financial plan, we have information below for our wealth and wisdom TV viewers. As always, thanks for watching. Michael Loftus, Wealth and Wisdom TV.